talking to your spirit. Are you faithful? Are you faithful to God? Because faithful means trust. I've said that trust and faith are like more or less the same in the Bible. And the Bible records this. Uh, that by faith, all is possible. I, I was reading of a, I was reading of a story in Matthew chapter number 19. So there is a dad who brought her, his son who was dumb. Let us read Matthew that uh, it is happening this way. Yeah? Oh, there is a man. There is a man. Who had so many possessions. Who had so many possessions. And uh, uh, he came to Jesus. And uh, he told Jesus, uh, what should I do to get an eternal life? I get an eternal life. The Bible, right now Jesus was reminding him of, uh, of the Ten Commandments. Huh? The Ten Commandments. Huh? Okay, and, they, and this man uh, told Jesus, I, I have followed all the commandments. What else should I do? Then Jesus tells him this. Yes, that go and uh, sell or give out all your possessions. And follow me. And follow me. Praise the name of the living God. The man walks away. And Jesus says this. Eh? That it will be hard. That it will be hard. For the rich man. To get in the kingdom of our father. Then there is a statement there. That I want us to go there. That Jesus made. Because it's nearly still now impossible to, to, for someone to get eternal life. To the disciples, huh? it nearly seemed impossible for one to get eternal life. But, but let, let, let us look at what Jesus is saying in Matthew 19. So the Bible records this. But Jesus looked unto them. Jesus looked unto them and said, Yes, Matthew 26. That with men this is impossible. But with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. Yes, with God all things are possible. But if we have faith, if we trust Him, if we trust that we can do it, if we trust that, if we have faith that for sure He can do it, then all things, all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are possible to our Father. So I had some questions. Eh? I want to ask another question. The first question was, do you trust the information you have about God? And uh, for those who are just getting in, I will say this. 
There is many information about God today. Go, go to your television. Go to social media and choose God. To choose God and you will get information about God. But I had a question. Do you trust the information that you have? Yeah, they will have the accurate. 
We are here before the King, hearing that my Father, our trust is also in you this morning and forever. We worship you, oh God. We are talking, my Father, for you are good. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, I commit your servant and your devil hands, oh God. I pray that my Father, you may continue to lift him as a brother. That each and every day he may increase, so that you may increase in me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. So continue with our service, our Father. If we want to guide us, in Jesus' name we pray this blessing in the living. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, Lord, yes.